M0FXB, welcome back to the channel. This is the Quashang Minicon UVK1, but it has the new firmware by Armel F4HWN. At the end of this video, I'll attach my video installing this firmware, but you do it in exactly the same way as you did with the Quashang UVK5, and this firmware can actually go on the Quashang UVK5. And one of the standout features uh, that I noticed is that you can actually view this screen live um, on your PC. But that's not the, actually, my personal preference is the fact that I can keep the backlight on. That's the number one thing that I really like. And we all love the band scope. So we just go F, then 5, and there we are. And this is the new model, isn't it? Just exit out for now. And if we go menu, let's find the backlight. So if you go menu up and down until you get to 38, look, you'll see that you can select it to be off. And then menu. You probably can't see it now. <laughs> On, one sec. Okay, that's better. <laughs> Got a bit lost there. Um, so it looks beautiful, dual receive. So VFO A and B, just press and hold the two. And the arrow moves up and down. Of course, it does air band. I'm going to hold that again. And if you press up, press and hold three, VFO memory. So there's a couple of memories in there. I'm not sure if I put many in yet. There's air in there, GMRS, GB3FI. So yeah, I have put a couple in there. Like so. <coughs> CTCSS, menu. I made a few notes here is uh, number six so there is an extended menu if you turn it off hold down this button the and the ptt so the the top two push and turn on you get release all keys and in this one is when you can i believe open up some of the tx on this and and the other day on when, on the older version of this i was it was transmitting on cb um so two meters 70 there uh, just, I'm just going to show you 350 bat calibrate bat type. Yeah, yeah. There are different batteries. This is the 2,500 milliamp hour, I believe. Reset and the small one is 1,400 milliamp hour. Makes the radio a lot smaller and power very low power and so on. Okay, let's just exit a minute. Go back into menu. Uh, we'll start from the beginning. Just going to quickly flick through now. If you're familiar with with the um, F4HWN software, and thanks to anyone else that's helped him, I know Exumo, and it's a team effort here. And remember, it's the first version, so bear with you know, bear with these people. They're working hard and they're they're doing it for free. Um, so step two is low two. That's your extra low power. Receive and transmit CTCSS, DCS, everything you'd expect. So if, if I was going to use my node there, transmit CTCSS is uh, 77. Select and then go forward. Direction, menu. Well, I, in this case, it's off. But if you want a plus or minus for a repeater. And off and then keep. So you're going, even though it's right and left, you're going up and down, aren't you? So wide and narrow, busy CL. Okay, tell me what that does. I'm sure you, I probably know, but compound. Tell me what that does. Mode, AM, FM, and SS, and USB it is. I'll leave the AM on. Um, let's keep going. Scan, add, TX, lock. So lots of scan, maybe list that you can create, is it? Channel save. So this is where you would save. Just go menu and start and just save. And it gives you the option to put the name in. Channel delete. Channel name. Yeah, you, you press it and you start to type in. You've got a full keypad here. I've never used lists. F1 short. So... Uh, these are the, I would say, the buttons, 
settings, F1 long, F2 short. Let's show you what selections there are. Flashlight, power, monitor, which is squelch off, scan, vox, FM radio. Let's back out. Uh, no, it, before the FM radio was hash, then F on it. Yeah, that works. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. And the speaker sounds nice. You know, it's very similar to the K5, isn't it? It's more just a more posher version. Bigger memory, that's the key thing. And if you look at Electro Banana's video teardown, even he says that he feels that the whole thing is, is better quality and been upgraded. Um, and because they've got these bigger chips, they're, they're, they're adding games, aren't they? So games that you probably couldn't have played before. So I'll, I'll do a separate video once I discover how to enable the games. And you think, well, what's the point? The point is that you're, it's hams showing you what you can do with something when they modify, because they're modifying this to to do that. So it's about ingenuity. Uh, battery save, percentage, you can show percentage, mic gain, mic bar, channel display, I've chosen name, but you could choose name and frequency, but then it does get a bit congested, but it's all there. Power on message, I just put everything, backlight, backlight minutes, is it? Backlight max, is, it, is that backlight or busy lockout? Mm. Okay, beep on off, roger beep, ST, don't really know what that is. And up code, one core, tell me. DW code, PTT ID. None of this stuff I use. D Live Vox. There you are. Thank you very much to Foxdrop for uh, Hotel Whiskey November version 4.3. Battery voltage there. Dual receive, respond, and then squelch. Set power, set PTT, set timeout, and so on. And then. So give it a go. Watch the rest of the video because I'm going to show you. And if I just go to the B band and just go 027 612, you can see we're in CB band and yeah, it's it's let it's letting the radio TX um, FM. Let's go menu and the mode was I wrote this down 12. Menu, select, exit. No, no, no transmit on AM. And then you've got frequencies like four, four, six, PMR, and four, six, two, GMRS in America. Uh, I'm not going to transmit on any of these. One, five, six, air band. I'm um, sorry, marine band. And so on, of course, airbound, AM. So watch the rest of the video loading up this software. Massive thanks. And you've got, with this one, you can load up the software using the, the USB-C, which is under here, and charge. Although it's recommended that you don't always charge it with that. It's more of an emergency, apparently. And it comes with a drop-in charger. PTT, programmable buttons. The, you've got this large battery and the small battery. Like so. So obviously when the small battery's on, the radio is literally that big, that big. Bye for now, watch the installation. M0 FXB, welcome back to the channel. So we've got the experimental firmware from F4HWN for the new Mini Kong K1. We've just loaded it here. I'm going to show you how to load it. And look what we can do here. If I go across, we are connected to the radio. If I just change some frequencies. Now we can't hear anything because I've noticed that I have to use the twin pin cable, which is a shame because you can actually load firmware using the C, but I'm finding that I can't, I don't get this screen interface. Um, so with the interface, we can make selections. Uh, there's a little help file here, here, just move it across.
All right, sorry about that. I was faffing a bit there, getting things out of the way. So scroll down and look, Fusion for K1. Now it will work um, with the K5, but you want the version three. So just check that. You probably might need the bigger memory or something. But it says, yeah, you, I have put it onto one of my K5s uh, and, it, and, it, and what I'm doing now was working fine. But this isn't the K5, this is the K1 Mini Con. Just scroll down and you'll see the one I chose was this one here. F4 and thank you very much Armel HWN K1 Fusion 4.3 bin that's the one I've chose the K5s underneath and you've got this PY thing so I think that one will allows you to um, use chirp which I'll do in a separate video but this one today we're just tinkering around with um, this, this version here uh, so when you click that it downs in the download the bin file in the normal way so I've downloaded about five times here, but it's up there on my downloads and I've put it on my desktop somewhere. Then go over to the Flasher. Now I've been using, you could use UV mod, but I've been using the Flasher by Arm, um, which is this one here. And put the radio into firmware mode, so turn it off. Press the PTT, turn on. You want that white light on top to know that you're in firmware mode and of course proceed at your own risk um, then you can now it says here you can dump the calibration restore the calibration but i'm just going to flash the firmware it's it's recommended that you back up your radio first so firmware file bin i'm going to choose the file and i've got it up here where is it on my desktop scroll down there's the bin i have already loaded it so where's it gone i'll find it somewhere you want the K1, there it is, F4HWN, and not the K5, which is here. You want the K1 Fusion. Really important that you choose the right one. Double click, and it's put the file there ready. And you've got a console here if you want to see what's going on. Uh, we've chose the file, so now you just go flash. And at this point, you're going to select the, the cable. So right click, Device Manager. Double click com um, 56 on mine. So we're going to go flash, then choose 56 and then connect. And if all goes well, it will just start flashing like mine did earlier. Uh, it looks like it's not in firmware mode. Let's try again. Yeah, it took a few seconds. But no error this time, as you can see. You can actually, even though it's flashing away, you can actually see the full screen, which is interesting. And then we'll see if we can do the viewer thing. Now, of course, this firmware does a lot more than just viewing the screen on your PC. So, right, that's all done. Reboot says 7.64, quite quick there as it rebooted. Let me just show you again. Off, then on. F, yeah, it's got all the version and Fusion Edition there. Nice name, Fusion. Right, okay. Now, I believe this is a fork of the Exuma software, so bear that in mind. So let's reconnect. We're going to go cable still connected, connect. And oops, could try again. Go to the, let's find the right connection. Connect. And it should start to populate the screen at this sort of rate. Then we're going to start pushing some of these buttons. So space says it takes a screenshot. So I know it's low. Sorry about that. Right. Okay. Quick business now. So G. If we select G, it should go green. Let's get rid of the. Let me just get rid of the um, black and white. And then we're going to do G. The other day I did it and it did go green. Color, oh, it's not green, it's grey. G for grey. Uh, so my site's rubbish. O, orange. B, blue. And W is white. Very nice. Uh, disconnect. Take a screenshot. So I think that's about it for now. Uh, just tingering. The main thing is we we now know we can customize this radio. We know we can use chirp, which is big help. 
Uh, let me just go to the actual CPS. Actually, I remember now when I tried to use the CPS, it, it did say it didn't recognize the firmware. So you've, big thanks to Armel. There's your UVK5 version 3. And you've got your selections here for dump and restore calibration. Bye for now. All the best.